I was once just like you. I wasn't always just another piece of the urban scenery. I wasn't always a bit of a backdrop, just another one of those people. I was a girl once, with goals and dreams, hopes, fears and ambitions. But life happens and doesn't usually end up the way you plan. I remember humid summer days when my clothes clung to my skin, heavy with sweat and the grime of the city as I wandered the streets. Where do you go when you've got nowhere to go? Everyone needs a little help now and then, right? I remember that fear stronger than any hunger. The shame I felt in the expressions of the people who hurried past me. The strange loneliness of being an outcast. This was not my identity. This was just my circumstance. What do I do now? I remember my daughter's face when we entered, her expression matching mine, a tentative hopelessness, cautious and shy. I remember the smell of those sheets, that first night back in bed after so many spent elsewhere, and the way the light glimmered through the window the next morning how it felt to wake up and not be outside. I remember the sound of my daughter giggling in her own bed within this sanctuary from the world, our own private space. I remember the taste of that first meal filled with simple kindness and welcome. I remember the shock, the utter joy and relief that my daughter had food and clothes and could go to school. Finally, my child can be a child. I remember the feel of plastic and wood against my back as I sat up straight in my chair, listened to the sounds of my newfound friends as I took notes on interview skills, personal development, job training, the list goes on. And for the first time in a long time, I can pause and think and pray and give thanks and praise to the one who made me and sustains me. For God is my source of my identity. I finally have time to think and be grateful in that knowledge. I remember my eyes glinting, smiles slipping and laughter bouncing as my tentative shame was welcomed by others who had once also been forgotten, cast out and ignored. We have each other. I remember how the sunlight glimmered through the windows and onto the smile of my daughter when I whispered to her, everything's gonna be okay.